Hi guys, I want to show you how to put an engine back in a car without having to have expensive engine hoists and everything like that. I've only got a small house, a uh, garage that is only 6 metres by 7.4, which means that uh, I can't have things like hoists and everything else that uh, a big garage would have. So I've come up with a few ways of uh, multitasking some of my equipment. Uh, what you might see down here is uh, one of my homemade, I make most of my own things. Um, this is what I use to put my wheels under. I jack my car up, put the wheels in and move my car across out of the way. I like to use it here underneath one of the engines that I'm about to put back in the car. So uh, that's one of my components. So I've got the engine coming from underneath the car. It's just sitting on it. And all I have to do is just wheel it in underneath the car, like that. So now that's basically in place, ready to go. So I'll show you now what I've done up on top. All right guys, so here is my system that I have for lifting my engine in. What I've created is just a, a big piece of steel. Okay, just a box section that I've welded up, put a nice end on it. And I've tapped in here some screws so they actually can be removed. So I can utilize this for other purposes. And then I've drilled a hole in the top here that I've just put a bolt through so that actually stops it from moving around. I've just used some of these straps, tie down straps, which are commonly available from your local hardware store. I've used some heavy duty ones. I've used three heavy duty ones and I just happen to have a lightweight one, just a normal trailer one as a fourth means of uh, protecting myself. Okay, so that piece there is again on this side slightly different system i want to be able to use this across a couple of different vehicles so i've got it's uh, the width of another vehicle that i've got so i've actually uh, got it so i could adjust it and have it in different systems or i can utilize this for other purposes at a later stage if i see a need for something else that i need to use it for so if i welded those on then that would just uh, mean that i would only be able to use this piece of steel for the one purpose so uh, i've got it for multiple multiple purposes at the moment. All right, so I've got these straps all set up. They're all fairly well in alignment. You'll see that the uh, engine will come up and it'll basically come up directly where it has to be. Um, if it's not perfect, I can move these around a little bit more, move them across and help sway it across to where it ends up being required. But I know this is right because I actually use this to, to get it out. So, so putting it back in is not such a, a, um, a struggle for me in this case. All right, so I'll just show you what I've done down here. I've got all the straps are now tied around and they're hooked on in different ways. I've made sure that all the straps are all even all the way up so that they just go in nice and evenly. I've used four again so that at any stage I can take one off and adjust it and it won't be a big problem. And uh, in a second you'll see that basically this will lift itself off the ground and I'll just go straight up with it. Right, so all it requires, as you can see, just some adjustment. Voila, it's coming up off the ground, as you can see. That'll require a little bit of movement to get that into the right location. Might have to adjust one of the straps to get it right. But as I bring it up, I'll just be able to sway the motor into shape as I come up and it'll come up into the right spot in the end. All right, well, I hope that's handy for you. I'm gonna show you when we get closer to the end. All right, so that works rather successfully. It definitely needs to have four put across the top of these straps so you can actually adjust them as you go up. One thing I failed to do was I failed to take one of my little um, plastic um, Cindy units off the off the car and I've snapped that off so I'll have to replace that one but apart from that I've done pretty well at uh, making sure that I've missed out on hitting any of the electrical connections or anything that were on the car um, came up and then obviously you thread it in through your, your joints keep them loose whilst you're doing it so that you actually can just move them around quite easily into place likewise this end but uh, I had to use my my jack to assist it just at the final stage, getting it up, uh, to move it around. It wasn't perfect, but uh, that only took me about 20 minutes to put the car, the engine back in the car. 
and uh, pretty good result. So there's an engine um, jack that you can have using standard equipment at home. Um, seems fairly safe to do it that way and, uh, and something that doesn't take up a lot of room for a racing team or anything like that. You can take that with you to any, any of the races and it's not that big a deal to uh, be able to flip an engine if required. Uh, obviously that's not the sort of racing I do um, but uh, yeah it'd be easy to take that rather than a whole hoist or anything like that. I hope that has helped you with your, um, your latest projects and uh, a means of uh, getting out of trouble cheaply um, without having to go and hire equipment. That probably has only cost me about, um, well I got that free so I'd imagine that's only about 20 bucks or so is worth of equipment that I had to have and uh, obviously the, um, the ratchet straps. So, so uh, yeah, pretty cheap for a uh, engine system, lifting system. All right, thank you once again. If you're enjoying our videos, please subscribe and uh, feel free to leave comments below. Thanks.